Good afternoon guys, it's a new day and we're in a new city So I'm currently in Penang Took a one hour flight from Kuala Lumpur this morning Departed at 6.30, arrived at 7.30 I was so freaking exhausted and my biggest concern was I have to check in at my hostel at 3 o'clock Like what do I do? Thankfully like uh, I'm staying at a capsule hotel And my pod was available Like they did all the cleaning, everything Way before time So yeah, I was able to check in super early Got a really good rest I'm currently in Georgetown and it's so empty Cause like it's not crowded with tourists I'm not sure if I'm in the correct place Because I feel like there should be a lot of tourists uh, I'm kind of just like walking and exploring around My SIM card data package was for like 5 or 6 days And I've already used all the 6 days up So now I am dataless And I am literally just walking and exploring and seeing where my feet takes me right off the bat i'm already loving this place much more than kuala Lumpur. it just looks less congested i'm not very sure why a lot of places are closed because it's a monday so they should be working that's what a new data package from 7-eleven and i asked the employee why everything is closed and he told me like this is basically the party street so everything opens up after 7 30 and some of the bars even open until 3 to 4 in the morning I'm not sure if I'll come here to check, but definitely good to know why everything is closed. So I'm headed towards Clan Jetties right now, which is basically a floating village, so I'm really excited to see that. And I was also reading about the history of this place and it was very interesting to me because this is pretty much where all the Chinese settlers came when they first arrived in Malaysia back in the day. So yeah, let's have a look at history. Just now I tried the bird nest, which was something that I've always wanted to try. Like since I was a child, I would always see advertisement on TV saying that bird nest is so good for your skin, for your body. And I know that Chinese people love buying bird nests. Like when they go abroad, if they're doing any shopping or souvenirs for people back home, it's always like purchasing bird nests. So I finally tried it just to see what the hype is about. And I thought I would hate it, but like it was better than I expected. It pretty much just tastes like jelly. I didn't see anything special about it. So now we're headed towards the Wonder Food Museum. We're here. I'm so excited. This looks so cute already. That was probably one of the best museums that I've seen in my life. It made me so emotional. I just went there for a fun, good poetry experience because I knew like the food is going to be crazy, vibrant, and it's going to be so good for pictures. But I didn't expect to be getting emotional because they also spoke about poverty and hunger that's happening in the world. And also like they mentioned all about spending time with family and having meals together. They even had this little sliding question thing that asked where do you think you can find the best food in the world? And I was expecting them to promote like Malaysian cuisine or something and the answer was just home. So that was like an oddly emotional experience. Hey guys, so here's a fit check which I didn't give you guys earlier. So I am wearing this Hawaiian dad type of shirt which I thrifted yesterday from Kuala Lumpur. It literally costed me like 15 ringgit which is pretty good because Malaysian pricing are not as cheap as you would think they are. And then I got these pants which I have from Taobao and again just Got my rings and also got my nails done in Kuala Lumpur. So, got some blues going on, if you know the reference. So, yeah, that's the look. And now, now we're just gonna like walk around and take some Instagram pictures because I'm loving my fit and I don't have any pictures. Problem of a solo traveler.
finally found a place all to myself where there's nobody around me so I can give you guys a story time. So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but two days ago I went for a speed dating thing in Kuala Lumpur. I know, very random, but it's me, come on. I was originally going to the bookstore in that building because it's like one of the most famous uh, destinations for tourists. And while I was like coming out of the building, I saw there was a poster downstairs that said speed dating and the poster looked really good and I was like, okay, it's probably like an old poster that they forgot to take it off. And I was like, okay, let me check what date it is, like, like how many months did they keep this poster for? Um, it turns out it wasn't an old one, it was like for the very next day and I was like, wait, hold up. I have no plans the very next day. So I went to the official Instagram that was linked in the poster and it said it's about like speed dating for young people aged 21 to 29 and I'm like, wait, I'm in the category too. And it's for people who are tired of using uh, dating apps like Tinder and Bumble and I'm like, wait, that's also me. So I basically realized like I fit all the criteria and obviously like I, I'm not exactly looking to be in a relationship but I am open to meeting people and that seemed like a good opportunity for me to meet some locals in Malaysia and to learn some things about Malaysia too so I'm like you know what like, let me sign up for this so there was like a couple of rounds the first round was like a self introductory round all of us were given 30 seconds to introduce ourselves talk about our interests our names our job our hobbies Okay, sorry guys we're not completing this story so basically like i was sitting there telling you guys a story and then this one guy uh i think he's a sort of tourist like on a motorbike he came and he's like can you take a picture for me i was like yeah sure whatever and then he just basically asked me like um are you here alone by yourself and like do you want to hang out and he was like middle-aged so i'm like um you know i'm here with a friend but like yeah I, I guess i'm like free for the next 10 minutes um i didn't think he would actually take that up as an offer but I mean he did and he's like do you want to hang out for the 10 minutes like I can drive you around to the beach which is like a minute away and I'm like yeah sure I'm actually really tired you know I do want to see the beach and free motorbike rides and it's also not in the middle of the night so he can't kidnap me out in the open so I'm like yeah sure why not you know um, if you're watching this please don't do whatever I do but basically yeah we just like drove around the beach pretty nice to get some wind in my hair or whatnot and after that, I had him drop me off to this alley where I'm headed toward one of the cafes that I'm really interested in. So yeah, there I will complete the story time which I was giving you guys. Found the cafe, click and brew. Okay guys, I just came out of the Taiping cafe and the stuff over there was super sweet. Like they were making good conversations with me and also introducing me to the different types of keyboards. Even though like I wasn't planning on buying any, but like they went really into details talking about how you know everybody has different preferences when it comes to using keyboards so you can customize it fully i don't know why i'm promoting them but it was genuinely such a, a nice experience learning about the different types and also like how some keyboards are taller than others because some people prefer like aggressively typing and some people prefer letting their fingers flow on the keyboard so anyways i learned something new and, and yeah so now i need to like catch you guys up on the story that i didn't complete so after the introductory round it was like icebreakers so everybody was given a card and the card um there's like a question on it like a really deep provoking questions i could actually make you think and it's definitely a conversation starter so everybody gets a card and you're given 10 minutes to converse with people so you can find about like three to four people to talk to and every time you do find someone you have to answer the question on their card and they have to answer the question on yours and after you guys answer you can exchange your cards and then you find the next person and then again repeat the whole process so i got to answer some of the questions such as um how would you title this chapter in your life which i answer spontaneity spontu spontaneous but basically like being spontaneous you know i'm just kind of in that zone in my life where i'm just saying yes to everything saying yes to new adventures saying yes to new friendships saying yes to taking part in events that that is like as crazy as this one so yeah i think like spontaneous perfectly sums up me as a person right now and i also got to ask questions such as um what is the most unexplainable thing that's happened to your life to some of the guys that i got there was also a question like what is an assumption you can make of me and um yeah i had to answer it about one of the guys which i told like i think he's very different like in person and his personal life versus his career life and i guess like i was kind of correct and i also had to answer about another guy the question was do you think i am someone who loves easily yes or no and i kind of did like a psychoanalysis on him and i like i was super accurate and kind of proud of myself for that one i told basically like he is someone who does love a lot but he doesn't necessarily show it on his face he keeps it more into his heart and he was like wait that's so creepy like did you learn psychology so it was such a great bonding experience and yeah i got to just talk to like almost everyone i got to know their backgrounds a little got to know their personality and as they did with me 
After that, we had like a group round. So like all of us had to be seated in groups of like five or six because it was about 17 of us. Oh, that's a cool mall. Okay, anyways, as I was saying. So after that, um, we did a group session where all of us had to pick like one card among all of our cards and we all had to answer. And the one card that we chose for our group was essentially, what is your first impression of me? So we all kind of just spoke about each other and it was such like a nice, comforting, accepting environment because like we all said such nice things about each other. Everyone was basically saying that I seem like someone who's very outgoing and out there and yeah, that's pretty much me. So uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I really think like first impressions matter because yes, your opinions on people can change later on as you get to know them more, but first impressions really do stick with people sometimes and I'm glad that's the impressions they got off me. So the final round of the speed dating round and for the speed date basically we have to talk to every single guy for eight minutes. So every date lasts for eight minutes and I think we had to talk to about like about 10 guys if I'm correct. So that took up like yeah like almost two hours and because we had more girls, I mean we had more guys than girls, the girls had to like constantly sit and just keep talking while the guys, the ones who are not talking to any of the girls, they got free time to sit chill and eat snacks so definitely much more stressful on our part my brain had zero second to even like relax because i had to keep thinking of conversations to keep filling the silence because you're only given eight minutes to talk to these people and probably these are the only eight minutes you'll get with them for the rest of your life if you don't impress them or if they don't impress you there will be no second dates so yeah it was very stressful and tiring for sure but i also had so much fun there were a few conversations that were a bit more interesting than others i will admit some of them like the conversation just kept flowing and we were making jokes we were vibing hitting it off while others like because there was not much common interest to talk about we ended up having to talk about job workplace and just like really really boring details that i don't think neither of us cared about but we just had to finish the time and after everything was done we had to answer basically like a survey we had to uh, fill another google form we had to put our names down and we had to select the people that we vibed as romantic interest and also the people that we vibed as friendship interest so after we select everything the team basically told us that we're not allowed to swap contacts on our own because they don't want any harassment or any uncomfortability on any of the parties or like any obligation to give out contacts like in 24 hours they will check the forms and if there is like a two-way street connection between any of the pairings so for example if both the people selected the same romantic interest for each other then they will get matched up and then the contacts will be swapped to each other or if both the people wanted to be friends they will get the friendship connection or if one person wanted to be friends one person wanted to be like the romantic interest they will also get a friendship connection my form i put down four guys and yesterday i got the result and i got a friendship match with all of them so i'm really happy about that at least now i basically have a whole friend group of people to hang out with whenever i'm in Kuala Lumpur glad to be part of it because also um a fraction of the proceeds goes into charity so that's a pretty good thing and i also ended up making like a really really good friend from the event like she is super cool as soon as i got into the event like she was the first person i noticed like even before looking at all the guys she was the first person that caught my eyes and because <laughs> she has a, such a vibrant energy and i saw her conversing with everyone so i was like ooh, like she's so extroverted like i want to be her friend i want to know her story i want to vibe with her so even when the host told us that we have 10 minutes to basically go around and talk to anyone we wanted in my mind i was like wait i want to spend 10 minutes talking to her <laughs> but yeah this whole experience was so unique and fun and it was quite educational for me too i always thought i had a bad luck when it comes to relationship or with men but i think i was just searching for love in the wrong places all, all, all the time you know because like i would always refer to dating apps and obviously people who come on dating apps have different intentions than people who actually want to be in a relationship right now i'm walking towards my hostel which is why i've been walking for so long my hostel is like a 40 47 minutes walk away from georgetown and 10 minutes by motorbike or by car but i really don't want to spend any more money so yeah i guess i will talk to you guys whenever i'm at the hostel because i am tired i'm sweating and i'm gross home sweet home okay so first things first the whole thing is basically like contactless which i'm really happy about because especially as someone who came over here at seven in the morning like i was just not in the state to talk to anyone and i didn't have to all the information was sent to us through booking.com so that was pretty good so yeah let me get in now oh wait sorry mm -hmm. 
so this is the ground floor you get all your lockers here so i put one of my suitcases here the small one and the big one like i was really lucky this is my like my locker so i gotta keep my suitcase over here now all the rooms are like all the capsules are upstairs spring because I don't want to disturb my fellow podmate downstairs so this is how the room looks like it comes with a towel I have my bag here the pillow here got my water bottle I'm sticking my lashes here and this is all the setup it has um, I've only stayed at pods with only like a single blue color so this is pretty cool that I get to change it to pink to yellow or to green and I can also mix and match two colors so here we have yellow and green it's a very pretty space very nice mirror as well so i did my makeup in the morning like right in my room itself and there's like a lot of spaces here so i kind of have everything messed up right now so i'm gonna arrange that and then after that i am gonna watch some youtube get some rest because tomorrow is gonna be another long day so good night you guys and thank y'all for watching <laughs>